The Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Pro earbuds are a set of low latency gaming earbuds with many other attractive features such as hybrid active noise cancellation, ambient mode, and app support. The company was nice enough to send over a pair for me to review, but as always you guys will be getting my honest opinion, and so far I'll definitely say that these have been a pretty pleasant surprise. So let's go ahead and see what all they're bringing to the table. So starting off with the charging case, it's very similar to the case of the AirPods, except it's black and maybe just a tad bit larger. Instead of a smooth glossy finish, you're getting a smooth matte finish all the way around. On the front of the case, you do have a single LED indicator to let you know the charging status. On the bottom is where you have your USB Type-C charging port. Overall, the case does feel well built and you're not going to have any issues fitting it down into a pocket. The earbuds feature a long stem design with some branding in the center of the touch surface. I will say the green logo combined with the glossy finish of the touch surface does give the earbuds a really nice look. You can also see that the earbuds do have a slight angle to help them sit in your ears more comfortably. The pre-installed ear tips have more of an oval shape which does help keep pressure to a minimum inside of the ear canal. You're also getting a set of your traditional silicone rounded ear tips as well as a set of foam ear tips that you can try to see which ones better suit you. The earbuds also feature proximity sensors which will automatically pause your music anytime you remove one of the earbuds from your ear. As far as Bluetooth connection, the earbuds are running Bluetooth 5.1 and they support SBC as well as AAC audio codecs. In terms of battery life, you're looking at roughly 4 hours on a single charge with a total of 20 hours including the charging case. This is one area I would say there's room for improvement. I would have liked to see closer to maybe 7 or 8 hours on a single charge. On the other hand, if your battery does die, only 15 minutes of charging will give you about 3 hours of listening time with ANC turned off. As far as water resistance, these are coming with an IPX4 rating, which means you don't have to worry if they happen to get splashed by water, but it's definitely not a pair that you want to completely submerge. One of the main attractions with these earbuds is the gaming mode, which is going to reduce the overall latency to about 60 milliseconds, so this is going to be really helpful for those times that you choose to watch videos or do any mobile gaming. I'm not really an avid gamer myself, but I did test out a few games with the earbuds, including Call of Duty Mobile, and in my opinion, they performed extremely well. When it comes to the fit, the earbuds sit nicely inside of the ear, and the oval ear tips definitely help with the overall comfort. If you're looking for the most secure fit, I would recommend swapping out the oval ear tips for the more rounded ear tips. As far as the touch controls, you're able to control everything except your volume, so unfortunately, you will have to rely on your phone for any volume adjustments. Now, as far as sound quality, the earbuds feature 10mm drivers and are THX certified, which means they meet a level of industry standards as far as sound reproduction goes. Out of the box, the earbuds are set to the THX setting, which gives you a very refined and overall balanced sound. The mids and highs are very precise and accurate, and the same goes for the bass, so you're really getting a very natural, authentic type of sound right out of the box. If you're like me and prefer more of a V-shaped, in-your-face type of sound, you will want to go into the Razer app and adjust your EQ settings. The app has a few different presets for you to try out, but for the best results, I do recommend creating your own. For those of you that enjoy a more bass heavy type of sound, you'll be happy to know that the earbuds can achieve that with the necessary EQ adjustments, so you can definitely get that more aggressive, punchier type of sound that you're looking for. The mids and highs also have quite a bit of range, so you can really tailor those to your specific liking as well. Overall, with the in-app EQ, you have the ability to achieve a very dynamic sound with these earbuds. Moving on to the active noise cancellation, it's definitely very respectable and aside from maybe the AirPods Pro and the Bose QuietComfort earbuds, I think they can really compete with just about anything else on the market. So whether you're on the go traveling or in a work type of environment, they're definitely going to help you cut out a significant amount of the ambient noises around you. And as far as the quick attention or transparency mode, I do think it could be just a tad bit stronger, but on the other hand, it does do a great job of giving you a very natural sound, not that overly digital ambient sound with an overwhelming amount of white noise. 
So we already saw that you're able to customize your EQ settings within the Razer app, but another very helpful feature within the app is the ability to customize your touch controls. So between your play and pause, your track controls, your active noise cancellation, your ambient mode, as well as your voice assistant, you can specifically assign your touch functions exactly how you would like. Now let's go ahead and do a microphone test to give you guys an idea of the call quality. All right, so this is a microphone test of the Razer Hammerhead Pro True Wireless earbuds. So this should give you a rough idea as to how you would sound if you use these in a quiet environment to take phone calls. Now let's see how they sound once we add some background noise. All right, so now we have some crowd noise being played on a speaker. So again, this should give you a rough idea as to how you would sound, only this time with some background noise. As always, you guys be the judge. So overall, the more I use these earbuds, the more they continue to grow on me. They pretty much give you all the features that you would want within this price range. The only gripe that I would point out is the battery life. I do wish you got more per charge use out of the earbuds. But aside from that, I do think these are a great option, especially if you're into gaming. So if you're interested in grabbing a pair, be sure to check out the affiliate links down in the description for the most up to date price. So that's going to be it for this video. If you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.